Okay, let's look at the dates and issues. These are put into groupings because it's really important that you remember, especially this first group, because a lot of you mess this up, and this is an, an issue that sometimes fits onto essays. So pay attention to when these things happen. The annexation of Texas, the Compromise of 1850, the Mexican War begins, the Texas War of Independence. Which one is first? The Texas War of Independence. And it is fought in? 1836, 1836. Okay, number two. The annexation of Texas. The annexation of Texas comes next. It's 1845. Remember, Texas was an independent nation for nine years. Then it's annexed to the United States. Number three is? The Mexican War begins. And it begins in what year? 46. 1846. Okay? All too often, you guys want to make Texas an acquisition of the Mexican War. We had Texas before the war. Texas was part of the United States before the war. Don't forget it. Okay? So the last one, number four, is the Compromise of 1850. And I hope you all realize that it was in... 1850. Okay, the next set, Bleeding Kansas, Dred Scott, Kansas, Nebraska Act, Know Nothing Party. The Know Nothing Party comes first. It forms in 1845. Number two. Number two causes number three. Okay, so number two is Kansas and Nebraska Act, 1854. Then Bleeding Kansas begins as number three, and it's 1855. And number four is the Dred Scott decision, thank you, which is 1857. Okay, sometimes on these you have to think cause and effect. We get Kansas Nebraska Act, which causes bleeding Kansas. Okay, the last four. Emancipation Proclamation for Sumter attacked Lincoln elected South Carolina secedes. The first one is Lincoln elected November of 1860. Number two, South Carolina secedes December of 1860. Then nothing happens for several months until number three when Fort Sumter is attacked, 1861, and then the Emancipation Proclamation is issued. It's issued in September of 1862. It goes into effect in January of 63. Okay? Any questions on those? All right, the next page.